Hi guys, this is I'm Stoke GCSE Languages and today we're going to learn how to form the pluperfect tense. Now before we start we've got to know actually what the pluperfect tense is. Now the pluperfect perfect tense is a is a type of perfect tense, type of past tense, but it's saying that you had a, a something. So for example, um, you might say I had wanted to go somewhere or we had brought. So it's basically the word had is put in. But now we got to know how you form it. And the way you form it is you use the imperfect tense of avoir and etre and then add the past participle. Now we're just going to go through all of avoir uh, in the imperfect. Now to start off we'll have j'avais, then you have tu avais, then you have il avait, then nous savions, then vous saviez, and ils avaient. Now remember that ENT on the end of ils avaient isn't pronounced in French. Now you can see them scrolling through there um, which has just come up but the, this is, these got, you've got to know this and if you don't know a lot about the imperfect tense then I'd highly recommend that you watch my imperfect tense video. On the other hand we also need to know etre because of course some verbs take etre. So then we've got jeté, tuété, il été, nous étions, vous étiez, ils étaient which again, you don't pronounce the ENT on the end. Now, of course, ETE is a lot more common because you hear a lot SETE, which means it was. So you, this should be more common to you. Now, then after you've used one of them, you use the, um, the past participle. So for example, I'm gonna start off with one of a very useful one, I think, and that's I had wanted. So that you by there, you would say, now you know the past participle of um, want is VULU. Um, again, if you don't know much about the past tense, watch that before you, you carry on with this video and then come back. So, voulu. Then, we know that voulu takes avoir. It doesn't take etre because it's not really a moving verb in terms of movement. So, we know that takes um, avoir. So, then we take, because it's I had wanted, it would be j'avais voulu. If it was we had wanted, it would be nous, av uh, nous avions voulu. So now, what do we do if the verb takes etra? Now, as if with the perfect tense, um, it has to agree. So, for example, if we take the party, which is uh, to to leave, then we would say, uh, if you were going to say you left, you had left, uh, sorry, then you would say tu étais parti. Now, the party has an e on the end, but it has to agree. So, if you said um, we we had left, then you would say nous étions parti with a S on the end this time, because of, of course you have to agree. And this is because um, all of the verbs, um, if you don't know them all, then please watch my perfect tense video because that has all of them there. Um, all of the verbs that take etra also take etra in the pluperfect tense. It's just the etra isn't etra, it's actually um, etra formed in the imperfect tense. So thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure if you didn't understand it, you probably should go on to the other videos, including perfect tense and um, imperfect tense, because they're the two main ones but if you did then that's great because this can also be a level um, but GCSE if you know it put it in it's really good work so thank you very much for watching this video uh, can you please subscribe to my channel and my other channel um, and visit my website the links below thank you and see you soon bye